Hey, what's up guys? It's Christian Hermita here for Hermita Tech. And today I want to present to you the Home Media Server Project. This will be a series of videos showing you how to build and deploy your own home media server for a relatively low cost. We'll be diving into Linux, doing some home theater PC, all kind of crazy stuff. All that and more coming up on Hermita Tech. Alright guys, let the games begin. We are now in home server mode and I just want to do a quick a note here that this server is actually going to be a home media server so it is a little bit more expensive than your typical file server but anyways, um, the case we're using is an a Cooler Master Elite 361 comes with a nice 120 millimeter stock fan for the top vent and I think like five different other vent holes and then there's also the uh, um, the power supply here it's 400 watts 80 plus rating and then we have the AMD A8 processor for awesome streaming capabilities for transcoding media on the fly to all the different devices in the house and remotely and we have an AS Rock A75M motherboard it was really cheap and I got it with a combo with the A8 so you know why not a quick note on the processor I went ahead and went with an A8 AMD processor for the purpose of being able to transcode on the fly now typically for a regular server you don't need anything powerful you can even get away with a Pentium 4 or an Intel Core Duo but for the purpose of this media uh, media streamer which is what the server will be doing we did need to be able to transcode media to our iPhones or iPads Android devices and any remote devices that will be connecting to the media server and the reason being is because most of the mobile devices do not support direct play of mkv or mov or whatever file format they just they don't like it so we needed a server to be powerful enough to transcode again you don't have to go with an expensive processor you can get away with any old processor you have lying around but if you do want to transcode media or rip blu-rays you do want something at least decent and the aa was really cheap i got it for under 70 bucks something like that so there you go that's why I got the A8 Anyways, moving along, we have our 4 gigabytes DDR3 RAM here. We didn't need much because it's just a server. And then we have the standard boring DVD drive, just whatever, used for installing stuff. And we have an SSD from Intel here. I went with Intel because they have very reliable performance and it will be a 24-7 on machine. Now these are the secondary storage drives. It's going to be going in RAID 1. So that way we can get some redundancy. Not a backup, but redundant. Um, and then now we're just trying to take out the stock power supply. It was kind of, it was just bad. It, it not even worth using and we installed like five different fans here the next one I think has some blue LEDs I went with blue because everybody knows that blue runs cooler and the sticker right here speed demon means that our computer will be super speedy fast I mean uh, it's unbelievable but it is fast and right here is the um, the cooler that we tried to get I bought it but it ended up not fitting inside this very small case um, so it, it stuck out by like another two inches so we went ahead and just put the stock cooler which is a little louder than I prefer and I might change it out later uh, we did some nice cable management as best as we could so that way we can get a nice solid airflow going through there there's another shot of some cable management and then this is the final piece right here the case itself on its side and there it is standing tall up next to a bag and you can see it's pretty small it's not much bigger than a standard shopping bag um, and don't worry I've cleaned up this closet and added a few more components to this closet area anyways I hope you guys like that video stay tuned for another video on this series don't forget to comment subscribe and check out those videos right there click on them click on them all right see ya